United Nations headquarters in New York City Friday. A regular morning as UN staff arrived at work. Though anyone looking closely would have spotted something new. Nestled between the city's imposing architecture, a more humble dwelling. A refugee shelter, in fact. A new structure that the UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, hopes will help bring some comfort to the millions of refugees currently suffering around the world. June 20th is World Refugee Day, and this year, the statistics speak for themselves. Largely due to the violence in Syria and in other conflict-ridden countries like Central African Republic, the world now has over 51 million refugees, asylum seekers and internally displaced people. That's six million more than last year, and the largest number the world has experienced since the Second World War. John Selecki is from UNHCR. Uh, world Refugee Day is a day in which we want to raise awareness about the situation of refugees and other displaced persons, forcibly displaced persons, throughout the world. More than half of the total displaced persons are children. One family displaced by war is one family too many. With this in mind, UNHCR turned to the IKEA Foundation, who created a new, modern refugee shelter designed to try and help those who are experiencing the hardships of refugee life. It can be assembled in half a day and sleeps five. It boasts a solar-powered lighting system that can also charge electrical devices and has private sleeping quarters and a sturdy structure. There's ventilation, and mosquito guards. While the tents that refugees have traditionally been sheltered in last six months, this structure will stand for three years. IKEA designer Nicolo Barlera was part of the team that created the shelter over four painstaking years of research and testing. He says it's the most fulfilling and challenging design job he's ever worked on. The major challenge in a refugee camp is the privacy. They don't feel uh, secure inside because of uh, people might see them. We have developed a new system that uh, allows us refugees to stay secure during the day and uh, in the night, uh, night time they can actually use uh, our solar lamp in order to uh, continue their uh, daily routine such as uh, sewing, cooking, studying, reading. The shelter is already being used in Ethiopia and flat packs will soon find themselves in all corners of the globe. And though the ultimate goal for the United Nations is to help those displaced by conflict find their way back to regular life, for now, at least they can have some privacy and comfort. A room of one's own for those who have lost everything, but who can now still have the dignity of something that's at least close to a home. For the United Nations, this is Alexandra King.